Hi and welcome to a new Volo. Today we are taking a look at the Owen B35 multimeter. You might ask yourself why did I purchase an Owen multimeter when I have the Fluke 87 and the Gossan Metroheat, uh, which are far better and nicer multimeters. Well, Owen test equipment in general are not very nice. They uh, are not known for their good quality or uh, excellent user interface design but they always seem to offer some features that no other products uh, in the same price range has them. In the case of uh, this multimeter, it's the uh, Bluetooth connection and the uh, Android or iOS app that will allow me to do data logging quite easily. So that's the reason I purchased uh, this multimeter, which by the way was uh, $57 with free shipping. Now about the meter, I got the uh, B35T model, which is a true RMS, but I don't think it has any other extra function over the uh, base model. This is a 6000 count multimeter, which in my opinion is great for working on uh, low voltages because you get one millivolt resolution on 3.3 uh, volts and uh, five volts measurements. You get all the uh, measurement functions that an electronics multimeter should have, auto ranging plus a uh, transistor gain measurement, which I always uh, considered a sign of uh, the one hung low multimeters, because uh, those used to have the uh, transistor sockets on the case itself. The meter is rated for uh, 1000 volts uh, Cat3. Not sure if it uh, really meets this specification or not. But if you are a professional making a living by working on high voltage circuits, you wouldn't be buying an O1 multimeter. So for us using these uh, meters on the bench on low voltages, I think it's, uh, it's pretty safe. Inside the uh, pouch you get some uh, documentation, a pair of uh, leads with a set of um, crocodile clips a cheap thermocouple and uh, one of these uh, adapters that is used for I believe uh, yeah for the transistor measurement and I think you can also connect some uh, K-type thermocouples with the classic adapter and uh, maybe also measure capacitors I'm not sure let's see where is the capacitance uh, measurement oh this meter does not measure capacitance so maybe this is some kind of uh, uh, universal socket that they send with other meters as well. The uh, test leads uh, feel uh, reasonable, but uh, they're not as good as with some uh, as with the ones that you get with a Fluke uh, multimeter. But anyway, not as bad as the ones that come with the uh, cheap Unity multimeters. The meter feels uh, pretty solid. I can't really make it twist I and I'm not hearing any cracking sounds it has this uh, soft outer shell but it's not as soft and as thick with uh, when compared to a good quality meter feels a bit cheaper and uh, I'm pretty sure it will not protect the meter very well in case of uh, a drop also it's uh, integrated it's over molded and it's not detachable the rotary switch feels very nice, really hard detents, gives you the impression of a high quality switch and it's very hard to position it between the uh, detents. I don't think that can ever happen accidentally. However, one big uh, downside for the rotary switch is uh, the fact that it, it extends way too much from the uh, surface of the, the meter and uh, it will get damaged if the meter is uh, dropped face down. The uh, soft buttons feel uh, okay. By the way, these uh, beeps cannot be disabled. They're a bit mushy, not as... Uh, they don't give you such a good feedback like you would get on a, on a fluke meter. They feel a bit soft but they do the job. The uh, tilting stand seems to be wide enough to keep the uh, 
meter stable even while uh, pressing the buttons it doesn't have any uh, jack detection so if you accidentally plug the leads into the wrong socket you don't get notified and you will probably uh, burn a fuse as anyone can probably attest to doing at least once the meter works with uh, two AA batteries which is very nice you get a nice capacity out of those and they are easily available. I pretty much like multimeters that use AA batteries. The screw for the battery cover is metal threaded and that's a good thing considering it will be used multiple times during the meter lifetime. So now that I have the meter on, let's do some tests. First, let me show you the backlight. As you can see, really, really nice uh, color and even uh, lighting across the display. Also, the display has these uh, big uh, characters, uh, very clear and readable from a distance. The uh, viewing angles are not bad at all. Uh, it just left me with a, a good impression. Really nice uh, LCD chosen for this meter. The annoying thing is that the backlight will automatically turn itself off after uh, 10 seconds and there is no way to override this. I understand that they were trying to increase the battery life but sometimes you just need the backlight to stay on. And the same thing can be said about the meter, it will go into sleep mode after 15 minutes of inactivity and there is no way to disable that but you can easily wake the meter by pressing any button. Although while the Bluetooth is on, the meter doesn't automatically turn off for obvious reasons. You might be doing that, some data logging and you don't want it to automatically turn off uh, during that time. The auto ranging is uh, pretty slow on this meter and this is very common with cheap auto ranging meters. They all have very slow auto ranging. Here I have my bench power supply connected to the meter and when I turn the power supply on you'll see the meter takes about 2 seconds before getting to the right voltage range. We can also repeat that test on the uh, ohms uh, measurement. And as you saw it took about 3 seconds to get to the uh, right range. The continuity test um, is uh, latched and reasonably good but certainly not as fast as a, uh, a good meter. Like if you would like to probe across a bunch of pins to find a short you'd better do that slowly or you'll uh, miss it. It certainly does not catch very uh, fast moving signals. The temperature resolution is just one degree Celsius and in today's standards that seems rather low. I think we can go to 0.1 degrees Celsius resolution without too much expense but they continue to offer this one degree Celsius resolution in cheap meters. Also measured the uh, power consumption of the meter and it's about 2.6 milliamps with the backlight off and the Bluetooth off. It varies a bit depending on the measurement you're in but let's take that figure of uh, 2.6 milliamps. If I turn the backlight on the figure rises to 19.9 milliamps and uh, turning on the Bluetooth adds about 9 or 10 milliamps to the total consumption figure. The meter will turn off when the voltage goes uh, below 1.9 volts, so it will use most of the available energy from a two cell uh, AA battery configuration. A fresh set of uh, Varta AA alkaline batteries like I'm using should have about 2800 mAh capacity at a lowish discharge current like uh, this meter has. So using the meter normally with the backlight off, the Bluetooth off on a fresh set of alkaline batteries should give you more than 1000 hours of usage which is uh, roughly 45 days. That's a nice battery life they, they got out of this, uh, this meter. Now just for comparison here is uh, some voltage measurements when compared to my 34401A Agilent multimeter. Here is my uh, current reference 
Now I'm gonna switch the leads on the uh, Owen multimeter and it's measuring pretty much bang on. Here is the Agilent measuring the resistor and here is the O1 measuring the same resistor. Now I'll uh, quickly show you the Android app which is pretty similar to the iOS app. They pretty much have the exact same functionality but they uh, differ in the implementation probably due to the uh, limitations of uh, each of the platforms. It's quite simple to connect to the meter. You just need to activate the Bluetooth. Then you search for a device. It immediately finds the meter. It's connecting and it's automatically started showing values from the uh, multimeter. You also have the um, option of uh, graphing the values by selecting this button right here and you see a list of all of the values recorded so far and a graph of uh, those values. You can also save the recorded values into a CSV file so it's uh, very easy to use this meter as a data logger as long as you don't mind keeping your phone close by to the actual measurement and uh, re to have it record the values. I'm not sure if anyone has built any Windows app for this multimeter, but the protocol should be really simple, like a long string of data uh, containing the different uh, button settings and the measurement value. Also, it should be simple to reverse engineer by sniffing the traffic between the app and the meter. I did search for, for something like this uh, for Windows app, but it doesn't seem to exist. Now, a review would not be complete without a teardown, so let's go ahead and open this meter to see how it's built. It comes apart pretty easily. And it looks like a, quite a clean construction inside. We do have some uh, blast protection around the edges with this uh, blast shield. So that should contain any explosion inside the meter. But just look at the mounting system for the input jacks. It just doesn't inspire quality and uh, long term usage. Like all the stress from inserting the uh, banana jacks will go straight to this uh, very small uh, soldering uh, joint and that will probably crack over time. Just doesn't uh, inspire quality, it doesn't look like it could handle uh, the abuse. On the plus side the uh, battery tabs are soldered right to the motherboard, no wires. That should improve the reliability, but uh, it depends on the quality of the soldering joint. Here is the uh, Bluetooth module, which is an off-the-shelf uh, module, but there's nothing wrong with that. And here is the uh, multimeter chipset. Looks like we also have a bunch of uh, surface mount trim pots, which is uh, which I always consider a sign of a one hung low multimeters cheapies, because uh, you do not find these adjustment pots on the higher end multimeters where all the calibration is is done in software. Let's take a closer look at the input section and the protection that it offers. We can see the shunt resistor right here in this corner. We have a uh, 20 amp fuse. It's a ceramic one, but it's made by uh, Dyson. And a, a glass fuse for the 600 milliamp uh, range. So in terms of protection, you don't get the uh, high rupture capacity fuses that you find in uh, more expensive multimeters 
that really protect the uh, rupture of the fuse in case of a high energy discharge. But if you're going to use this meter just on the bench with a uh, low voltage measurement, I think you are pretty safe with these uh, two fuses. Also in terms of input protection, you don't really see the big moves that you find in uh, good quality multimeters. Only a couple of uh, tiny ones um, and a couple of uh, diodes probably for clamping something on the input. It's interesting that I'm seeing a 1 ohm and a 49.9 ohm resistor on the input. Could this be uh, the uh, resistor shunts for the lower range of currents? I think they could be. Pretty nice uh, layout and uh, clean construction. Only a bit of flux residue on the uh, input jacks. Everything else seems to be uh, surface mount soldered and uh, with a really nice uh, construction. No budges and surprisingly uh, I got a pretty new revision. It's uh, version 1.6 and it has a date code of uh, 24th March. 2017 so it's pretty nice when you get stuff from China and you see it, it is such a new revision because usually you get stuff from eBay and it's a one year old uh, revision but in this case I'm pretty happy with uh, what I got I don't think it's uh, worth taking off the board we won't find anything on the other side uh, just the LCD I think believe the controller is integrated inside this uh, multimeter uh, ASIC and uh, on the other side we'll just have the um, contacts for the, the rotary switch and for the buttons so there's nothing really interesting to see on the other side of this uh, board about the fuses we, we can see they have provisioned um, footprint for a larger socket probably to accommodate an HRC fuse both for the uh, 20 amp fuse and for the uh, uh, 600 milliamp one they have footprints for installing larger fuses. So if uh, one could uh, desire, they could install a larger socket and uh, replace these fuses with some HRC fuses for increased protection. But I don't think anyone would bother doing that. Is this also a date code? 16th week of uh, 2017? It could very well be. Now to wrap this up and give you my final uh, thoughts on this multimeter. Please consider that I haven't thoroughly tested uh, all the ranges on this meter for accuracy. Also, I haven't checked any of its protection features, so I'm not sure how well it will protect you depending on what type of uh, circuits you're working on. But on the few ranges that I have tested, it performed uh, very well, uh, within, certainly within specification, and I'm quite happy with that. The price is not bad at all for the uh, Bluetooth data logging capability and I think that if you need this, uh, this feature, the uh, Bluetooth data logging, I don't think you can get anything better than this at the same price. So it's worth getting it. If you're considering to get this as a first multimeter and you don't really need the data logging capability, I think you can get something better for the same uh, amount of money. And there are plenty of uh, reviews on YouTube for $50 uh, multimeters. So you can take a look at those and pick the one that suit your, suits your needs uh, best. But for me, this is an excellent uh, meter for doing uh, data logging using the Bluetooth feature. So as always, there will be a link in the description to check out this uh, meter on eBay or other purchasing uh, channels. Don't forget to uh, hit the like button and uh, please let me know in the comment section what you think about this, uh, this meter or the video in general. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.